This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to do a quick audio mix in Premiere. But what happens if time is of the essence and I need to get the mix done inside Premiere or I don't know Audition or I haven't downloaded Audition? Am I out of luck? And the answer is no. Built into Premiere is an audio mixer. And if we hit the tilde key, there's our tracks, which I've named Dialogue, Sound Effects, and Music. Here's a very fast way to do a mix inside Premiere that sounds really good and is far better than if you were to adjust keyframes or start to add clip effects. We're going to work first by adding some effects by clicking this little triangle right here and twirling it down. These are sends. We're going to ignore those totally. I'm going to work just with effects up here. And I always leave the top one blank in case I want to add something at the very end because effects process from bottom to top. Click this second arrow. I'm going to go to Filter EQ and select Parametric Equalizer. Then the next arrow down, I'm going to go down to Amplitude and Compression and add a multiband compressor. Parametric EQ allows us, if I double click on the name, double click on the name, allows us to shape the sound to warm a voice and boost the clarity of the consonants. There's only two settings I need to mess with, this one and this one. For a man, leave the, here's the settings for a man, 200 hertz, 200 hertz, 3 dB, Q of 1. And up here, 3200, 5 dB, and a Q of 1. We've just warmed up the voice to make the vowels warm and sexy. And we've boosted the consonants to sharpen the difference between an F and an S, or a P and a K, a D, a B. All of these consonants were heightening that. Now, the energy of the voice is down here. That's where the vast amount of volume is. So we can boost this more without running the risk of distortion. For women, settings are exactly the same, except this goes to 400, and this goes to 4,000. So 200 and 3,200 for men, and 400 and 4,000 for women, 3 and 5 dB with a Q of 1. We'll leave this set for a guy. Listen to it. If you decide you don't like it, make changes. Nothing's locked in stone, but those are good places to get you started. The multiband compressor is true magic. It takes the softest part of your audio and makes it louder without distorting the loud part of your, your audio. I use it for every mix. It just adds power and it adds consistency to dialogue. Don't add either of these filters to music or ambience or sound effects. Only use it to the spoken word. And if you're doing music mixes, the filters are used totally differently. I don't do music. I don't presume to teach how to do that. Change the preset to broadcast. Turn off brick wall limiter and set the margin to negative 3.5. What we've just done is we've now boosted the softest passages of the audio without damaging the loudest passages. And by setting the margin to negative 3.5, it keeps us right in that negative 3 to negative 6 range that we want all of our mixes to be in. And that's it. Finally, under, this is for the dialogue. I haven't added any effects to sound effects. I haven't added any effects to music because it's already been fully affected. I do want to add one more to master. And that's inside the special category. Special, loudness radar. Loudness radar. Double click it. And this opens up a VU meter that tracks average levels not peak levels. We're going to go to settings and change the setting under target loudness to negative 16 LKFS. That's exactly where I wanted for YouTube or for Vimeo. Go back to radar. Now when I play this, watch what it looks like. Oh, let's hide this so we can see more of what's going on. Our ambience is too loud. We'll pull that down. Our music is too loud. We'll pull that down. And he's a little bit loud. We'll pull him back. 
I want to have my my audio levels be right here on this circle and look at where they're coming in right on that circle by adjusting the levels for the track I only have one gain control for all the dialogue the volume is actually being handled by that multiband compressor I've got ambience so well, I want to keep that soft enough that the crickets don't sound like they're overwhelming the house and I want the music to be a presence underneath but I don't want to have it keep pumping up and down like it would if I was doing the ducking so I adjust my levels and then I play it and look at what we've got right exactly where we want it to be right around negative 16 LKFS and we're bouncing between negative 3 and negative 6 for the mix that's now he's gonna start talking in a second Q Vince anytime this week there he is and that's exactly where we want to be. Look at our peaks are between negative 3 and negative 6. Our audio is around negative 16. We can't hear it, but technically it's a perfect mix, which is exactly what we want to do inside Premiere. We want to have our stuff sound great. The easiest way to find the mixer is to use the audio workspace and then press tilde key to enlarge it full screen. This has been an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar on the basics of editing in Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 283. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.